is it? Are we live? <laughs> We've been live. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Rot -row. We'll, we'll, we'll clean it in post. Anyway, hello there Star Wars fans and welcome to another Order 66 Toys video. And today we have a new installment of Know Your Toy. We haven't done one of these in a little while. And mostly that's due to a lot of busyness, a lot of what's in the boxes coming up instead. And it's actually really it. It's mostly just those two reasons. It's, dude. Or coming up with something we haven't done yet in a Know Your Toy video. Yeah. That's also a challenge. The biggest thing is, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're getting ready for our live sales on Friday night, 7, East, 7 Central 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. There we go. That's the one. That's it. Hosted by the CSWC. What is that? The community of Star Wars collectors, of course. Make sure you check them out. If you're not already a member, well, join it. It's an awesome community of awesome nerds, big and friendly. We love it. Um, honorable mentions. We would like, again, just to keep the family of John Kitchen in our hearts and our minds because he recently passed away last week. Was he big was a part big of and part of the community. So um, please give his family your best wishes. Um, we truly do miss him. So so what I was saying before Bobby went on his rant, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're getting ready for Friday night. And then Thursday Sat night's X-Wing night. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday... We're slammed in the store because it's a weekend. Uh -huh. Monday and Tuesday, we are recovering and mailing all of this stuff out that gets sold on Friday Night Live. Plus, Bobby's off on Monday. Yeah, so. E. And Josh is off Thursday and Friday yes, when he, he can be. Anyways, yes, he is. what are we doing today? So today we're doing a Know Your Toy. This one is going to be about clones. And I believe we talked about some clones in the past but not quite to the extent we're going to be doing today the, today we're going to be talking about different figure a lot of different figures a variety of different armor um, from across the years um it's going to be really really cool um so we're going to start off dude if you need to burp just burp i'm good we're going to start off with the evolutions Fet legacy pack so this awesome three pack comes why, with why would you ever start here for clones well i mean the clones started with none other than Jango Fett, and here we have Mandalore also. Um, this is Mandalore the Indomitable. So, just so you know, Mandalore is the planet the Mandalorians come from. Mandalore is actually a title. That's not the character's actual name. It's a title to... Uh, the leader of the Mandalorian people of the time. Steve, what's up, Mike? And it is, it is only a title given to a great Mandalorian. There, He is basically an arbiter to his I people. I thought that this was the first Mandalore. It might be? I don't and remember. His name was actually Mandalore? It, I you might, know, I might you know be it could totally... Be. I don't, I don't know too much about his this specific Mandalore's character. All I, I'm basing all of this off of knowledge of the title. So next up we have Jango Fett, the template for the Republic Grand Army clone template um, through Kamino. And of oh, course his that. son, Boba Fett, the original clone, we'll say, or at least the one people remember the most. Um, Boba Fett was a clone of Jango with an unaltered... Um, aging process. Thank you. Aging process to thank grow you, naturally. Um, specifically as a son to Django himself. So yes, it, Boba is Rico. a clone, but it, he's also more of a son role than he is a clone. Um, very cool. Very popular characters. Lots of people love Boba. Lots of people love Django. It's difficult for us to keep this pack. And this pack time. we almost never have. We haven't had a Mandalore, the Indomitable, in here probably two years at least. No, we've had, we've had them since then because I've had mine at home. Yeah, but then you gave it to me. Mm. That's where yours went. Also, thank you. I love that figure. It's on my Mandalorian shelf. Because I also collect okay, so three three-quarter other, Mandalorians. Other than this, what, are, what else have we got? Where are we starting? We're going to start over here with the three three-quarter scale clones. Because... Well, let's start down here then. Do you want to start? Start down here and then we'll... 
move around. All right, well, here we have some Order 66 packs. Order 66, uh -huh, Order 66. were these awesome two packs released at Target only, as you can see here, um, during... Was it the 30th? Yeah, it was like the 30th, 30th anniversary. anniversary toy line. And there's actually um, two full waves of these. So there's 12. There's 12 of them. There's quite a few. And they're all very cool. So what you get is you get a Jedi and you get a clone to shoot them in the back. That's right. Um, so here we have Anakin with an airborne trooper. This one is a really cool and popular armor design. Um, to my knowledge, I think there's only... There's, you skip, you there's, skipped over some stuff, man. The figures that come in these? What? So there's 12 different two-packs. Right. All of the clones that come out of these uh -huh. are totally unique. You yeah. can't get them anywhere else. Right, right. You can't you can't get them anywhere else, but they're remolds. I mean, repaints of other Yeah, models. they're repaints. Um, for so. example, the first Airborne Trooper release was released in the regular 30th anniversary line, but it was an 212th Legion airborne trooper which is the orange troopers that go with obi-wan um ah, where are you going? so anakin comes with an airborne here and of course keep in mind like we said there's a lot more than these these are the ones we have left um in the past year we've been selling out of the order 66 packs a lot go figure um so here we have obi-wan with a 212th battalion atrt driver i just uh, said stop messing with the reactions jeffrey uh um, hitting the wrong ones i really like i like this one this one looks really cool um next up we have palpatine with a coruscant trooper i like this one this one's cool too i think i have this one it's not papa i might have that one although for some reason palpatine's using anakin's lightsaber but with a red blade okay these are, this is after episode three, man. They were just throwing stuff together. Oh, geez. Oh, geez, I Rick. think Yoda has an itch. <laughs> I don't know. Rico, I don't know if we have a full set, man. I have, we have five out of is the it 12. Is five of wave one? I don't even know if all of these are wave one or not. It's wave um, one. That's wave one. Here, and this is, I can't remember what battalion, but one. this is not the 442nd. This is not Grease Battalion. This is another one. That's yeah, another one. Grease is just green. It just has green stripes on it, whereas this one's part of another battalion that was there as well. On Rico, we, we, uh, saw these, we saw these in the store for 2466. They honestly sell much higher than that every other place that I've seen them. And... The $40 range. Last but not each. least, we have this one with Mace Windu and a grape-flavored Galactic Marine. It is different than the regular Galactic Marine because it the is. other one's all purple. I like this one a lot with the purple highlights. I like both. Um, and that's mostly because purple's my favorite color, but I really like both. And I love the Galactic Marine armor because it looks a lot like the uh, Snow Trooper armor. Right. I'm a big fan of Imperial Snow Troopers. Uh, and even that... The Galactic Marine armor is not even far off from clone snow trooper armor either, which is pretty it's cool. It's like a solid middle ground. It's a nice little middle ground. Um, we're we going to go, not here, but we're going to move down there. Gonna What's start, wrong with these? Well, we're going to start from the... So you want to go this way, and then this yeah. way, and then back that way? Yeah. You probably should have set this up better. Keep it on your toes. All right, so here we have the first ever clone trooper action figure. Hi, Philip. <laughs> The first ever clone trooper action figure from the Power of the Jedi toy line. This was a sneak peek figure that um, got released before Attack of the Clones came out. And that's one of the things, you know, just to, as a bit of our commentary here. That's one thing I personally miss a lot about um, George Lucas being in charge of Star Wars. Um, I like what Disney's been doing with stuff lately. Um, not everything, but a lot of stuff. But as far as toys and marketing went, Lucas did it a thousand times Lucas better. Lucas did it. Lucas did it. Um, especially when it came to toys. We were discussing earlier how if Lucas was involved with the Black Series. It would be easily four times bigger than it is right now. And there would be nobody that we can think of that we don't already have. Right. We would have a figure for every, every main and secondary, maybe even tertiary character 
in Star Wars. See you later, Phil. We would have all the main stuff, for sure. We wouldn't be just now getting excited about Grievous. We would have had Grievous probably in the first year of Black Series, actually, knowing Lucas. Yeah, it shouldn't take five years to get... I mean, we still don't even have Padme. We still don't have a Padme. Just how pick do we, an outfit. How do we have an Anakin and not have a Padme? Um, so, yeah. Anyway, this was the first phase, and this is a plain white phase one clone trooper with dust from Geonosis on his boots. That's really cool, too. Um, this is an awesome figure. Not very poseable, not a lot of articulation, but it's the first one. I, I like that they did stuff like that. Um, down here we have young Boba. Of course, we got to get him in here. He's a clone. And he comes with his father's jetpack, helmet, and blasters, which is kind of cool. Um, and yes, all of those pieces do attach to the figure. You can take off his poncho and put his jetpack on him, which is neat. We have a phase one captain. I wish they had released more clones for the uh, Attack of the Clone toy line. There was really, as far as troopers go in the main toy line, single facts, it was just these two. You got a captain and you got the uh, oddball pilot, which I thought there was an neat. all white one as well. Mm -mm. Only in here. There's a there's a uh, pack that comes with a land a speeder bike, and it and the armor can come off of him. But as far as regular goes, it was mm. just these two. Um, we also have this one comes in like a two pack with uh, Django. Not Django. It comes with uh, oh Lama Su. Lama Su. And so there's a kid clone it's in it's training. It's not actually Boba. It is not Boba. That is a clone. Ooh, Boba kid in training helmet head gear stuff i have one of those i think it's really neat because i like to collect the clones next up we have the all silver i forget which toy line that one's 2001 from 2001 anniversary is that it it was it was an anniversary set yeah. it was an anniversary piece i like it it's it's this i think it's this same figure right here actually just yeah. cast in silver paint which cool um, we have an ARC Trooper from the animated Taika Waititi, Tchaikovsky, Yo, Bro. Van Gogh, Bach. Tchaikovsky. Yeah, that one. Um, well, his helmet's removed, but I can't take it off. Um, but that one's really cool. Do we still have four Lama over there, Sideshow? Would be. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. He's up top. That's four long. Go ahead. Um, so, yeah, there's that one. These are from. Well, hold on a second. This thing, I really like this whole series because it was from. It was based off of this TV show. Yep. The original animated Cartoon Network TV and, show. And here we have the animated Clone Trooper. This is. What they looked like on the show these clone troopers are really cool but what this came from is they did a secondary uh a continuance of that toy line and they called it the realistic clone wars so yep. it's as if he was from a live action movie that's which is something to really was. appreciate and it's something i like that they continue to do with the black series um when when we get characters from the animated shows and the upcoming obi-wan from that series is going to be released in black series next year they're still released in realistic movie looking character quality and i, I like that that's awesome well yeah yeah so here this these came out of a three pack these came out of a three pack so these are just clones in various battle poses you can't really take them out they come in three packs like that and of course there's different paint schemed clones yeah that's probably i think they're pretty six cool different especially versions. if you like the army build it's a really it's a really good buy and that was another one of the things that Lucas did really well when, when he was in charge of toys was he made sure there Bring was in, lots of lots of options that when you want an army build and you care about having one of every different clone, you could get that. And that's something that is really missed. Hopefully, you know, it seems Hasbro was listening to some of our rants and wants in our um, Black Series wish list videos, which you guys gracefully participated in thank you very much for all of you who did and if you haven't we'll go back and watch them i'm sure some of them are up on our youtube channel now order 66 toys like and subscribe to that and even share some of the videos from there if you like um and you might even find some know your toy videos from it's definitely know your from toy earlier this on year there. on there as well 
lots and lots of cool content made easier for you by our friend Dante, whose birthday was yesterday, so wish him a happy birthday. This is the original Galactic Marine. That's the original Galactic Marine. I think that one's either from a comic pack or that's the one from 30th anniversary. I can't remember which. It's one of the two. His helmet is removable, which is awesome. Um, That is the Phase 2 Episode 3 version of the clone pilot. And we also have an example of the Imperial um, variant of that figure. That's my favorite version for obvious reasons. I love it. Uh, Who do we got here? So here is the Clone Commander from Episode 3. There's also a green variant of that figure. I couldn't find it in the back when I was looking, but there is a green variant. So everywhere... This is just a generic Clone Commander. Right. So if you like it... Um, and you want the green one and you don't know what it looks like, just look at this one and imagine all the red and green. And if you're, if you can't, I'm sorry, I tried to find it for you. We'll find one. We'll find one. Next up, we have the episode three covert ops clone trooper. This one is awesome. I love that clone trooper armor. It just looks super sweet. I wish we had a, um, a shadow trooper, a shadow clone. I couldn't find one. I guess we're out of them. Um, but he would have been cool Keeping to show off. Keeping a hold of clone troopers is not easy. It's always difficult. Clones always sell well. Even loose. These will not last long. These were just put out. Yeah. A lot of these. And they always go very quickly. Up here we have some other episode 3 stuff. We've got Tactical a... Ops. We've got a 501st clone. That one's awesome. These ones are usually the more favorited ones from... Episode 3. People love the 501st clone. Vader's Legion. Here we have a AT-AT tank gunner clone. Did you say AT-AT? I did, didn't I? I meant to say A-T-T-E. Yeah. This one's cool, though. I like it. I like how he has different helmets. He does. He has this attachment, and he has just a regular Phase 2 helmet, which is really cool. And, of course, removable helmet. That was another feature I really liked about... um, They started that in Episode 3. Mm-hmm about clones so here we have from rebels we even got some clones from there so here is commander gree this is his phase one armor before he got the cool reflective visor reflect reflective green visor that he had in episode three that one was a cool suit same dude who tried to kill yoda look where that got him decapitated next up this one's another one of my favorites this is the training gear clone trooper so he's in his red fatigues on camino but he also has clone armor that you can put on him on top of those which is really neat um i definitely had to get one of these though for for obvious reasons i really like this one obvious reasons in case you guys don't know what the obvious reason is bobby's a bigger bigger nerd than anybody watching this video i guarantee it so we went over the clone pilot. I like this one a lot. That one's really cool. This one's also from the uh, based off of the one in the animated series. This is the uh, the Aqua Trooper. Scuba. I like that one. This armor is so cool. His feet have flippers on them. Oh, I there never you noticed go. that. Yep. Really neat. He's got like this little water jet pack, so he can Bring him in, man. shoot through the water. Um, and then up here we have everybody's favorite, Captain Rex. Phase one, Captain Rex. I like it. Hashtag don't tell Haley. Don't tell Haley. Captain Rex is awesome. Then we have a SDCC exclusive Senate security clone trooper. StarWarsShop.com. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Up here we have phase one, Commander Cody. Awesome. Awesome. And then we have this cool two-pack with... Which, which clone is that? Special Ops? from Gen- That's a Special Ops Geonosis clone. I love that. I like that color on the armor. I'm not a big fan of that color. You don't like it? I don't know why. I think it looks cool. It's, it's, What's up, good stuff? It's, it's a neat difference. Here we have a Phase 1 Commander from the Legacy. Oh, wait, no, this is Saga Legends. Legacy. Legacy Saga Legends. Right. And this figure comes in four different colors. Yep. So it comes in white red blue and yellow Mm -hmm. 
Uh, no, nah. oh, five colors. Five. They also green did green. Also. So you have they they did the regular. That's what they the did one the like. sergeant, the commander, the captain, lieutenant, and the lieutenant. They did all five. And then here we talked about these a minute ago. The trooper packs. I don't know why we're getting to see this one twerk a little bit, but hey, whatever. You know. Um. This one's also super cool. This one's a a, a drump trooper. It has this cool little wing jetpack kind of thing. Um, this jetpack. Just pack. cool options like this were always welcome among among Star Wars toys, in my opinion. Just love stuff like that. And then here we have this nicer package for just another one of these three packs. But well, this is a uh, variant though, because the original version was all white. Right. This is a variant. The more sought after one. It's cool. I like these clones. They more look cool. More specific clones. And we talked about the Arc Trooper earlier. This is the same figure, but in blue. Comes well, in yeah, this comic, you get comic all the pack with Obi Wan. You got to get all the different colors, man. Right. Definitely. Different ranks, different. Really uh, neat. Squads. Just, just super neat. Awesome figures all the way around. Um, down here we have a figure pack for the animated characters right here now here's one of the other things to keep in mind with these figures um they're more like figurines they're not they don't really have any articulation to them and if they do it's they, a they very small have, amount they're 5 PLA, but they're in posed positions they're but they're yeah they're imposed down here from <laughs> the uh 2008 clone war series we have That's Boil. Boil with an ATRT, also Geonosis. This one's awesome. I like that one. Um, up here we have. <coughs> we have a. That's Jesse. Bark Speeder with Clone Trooper Jesse. Nice. That one's really cool. So what is a Bark Speeder? Bark Speeder. Is it just like an advanced. It's just the uh, Clone Wars era speeder bike. Cool. They and, don't blow up as easy. And here's one of the first ones we got with episode three comes with a bark trooper and a speeder bike and this is a kashik version thank you unfortunately though they the also were <laughs> they were doing these things here where you just had a character in a seated pose you got it with this one you got it with the atrt where they released for this but what was funny was What's up, Alden? they also released an atrt driver in a single package for episode three Aside from the driver with the walker, so why not just put the driver posable and with the walker and save yourself some figures? Oh. Let's get over here. Let's go. Let's go with the cool stuff. Time to go with the cool stuff. Uh, before we get to the other cool stuff, let's talk about this one real quick. This one I just felt oh, like it was necessary to show off. This bad boy can fit so much spaghetti. I saw a, uh, I saw a meme yesterday. I think I might have actually saved it or sent it to my daughter, but it's somebody tapping a uh, slap on the top of a uh, pumpkin. Oh, that's funny. This bad boy can fit so much spook in it. That's awesome. So much spook. Um, these are these are great. So this is the first one ever done um, for Attack of the Clones. This is the Lardy or the L A A T gunship. Um, I've always loved these. This is ever since I saw Attack of the Clones when I was in. Let's see, I had just got out of kindergarten i think it was my last day of school in kindergarten my mom took me and a friend to go see attack of the clones in theaters um loved it and i fell in love with this thing on screen and the clones first time i saw them fell in love with it um this is cool because you have you need to get two pilots right each one comes with a turret so what you do is you take your gunship you take your two pilots and you put both you put the turrets on the gunship right there and there's a cool image right here showing you how that looks. Get some clones to sit on there with it, and there you go. Put your two pilots in the cockpit. And it features all other kinds of things, firing missiles, got, has all the laser cannons, has a troop drop. Unfortunately, everybody that got this thing was looking for two or three of those. So the price on that one kind of went up. Yeah, he's a little he's a little pricey, but definitely well worth it. Even on the back of this, it features it. Because not only could it be a standalone turret, which why would you if you need this? Um, but you can put the ball turrets on What's the up, sides. Joey Barr? And that is awesome. Love these. Had to get them. I've got them in my collection. You should have it in yours. All right. Time for the Where are you going? Time for the six-inch. So we're going to start 
from the beginning, work our way over. So again, we're gonna start off with the main clone, Boba. It's Django. Oh, I didn't bring Django over. Should I have? Yes. We'll go over to Django here in a minute. We'll go walk over there. We'll show them the Black Series. Well, I'm sure they wanna see it anyway. So here's Boba. The main clone himself. God, that box is big. Yeah, it's a little scuffied. It's a scuffy boy. But everyone needs a Boba. Really cool. Love Boba. Great figure. And we'll be seeing him in an archive in January, I think. Um, knowing I heard, I heard spring. So. Oh, you heard spring? I heard like late December, early January. But that makes sense knowing Hasbro, like they probably set the release date for January, so which we'll means we'll get cover. it like in spring or the following year after every after literally every other country around you know this united states based company hasbro has gotten it and sold it to everybody who actually wanted it and then hasbro sees fit to release it just yeah, like yeah, the yeah. min band stormtrooper that's what we got. just now started coming out um next up we have the phase one plane clone trooper this thing is hard to find i'm amazed i am absolutely amazed that we got this figure at all one and two when we did. The fact that Hasbro has been notoriously horrible at releasing prequel characters since Disney bought Star Wars is absolutely amazing that we got a clone trooper well, you don't as mean early as us we did. as Order 66. You mean Star Wars fans that we Star Wars that fans actually in general. made this figure for us. Right. Because, you know, they 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 well, only just now started might touching as well, prequels. Look, they make this one, and then there's how many different versions that are literally just do 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 do. Here's the new paint app. Do do do. All done. And they can keep on doing it too. It's actually easy. Um, it's like there's one, there's two, three. three. There's right another there. one. We don't have it. So we don't even have the. Okay. So the other four. one. The other one was so there was one release in the orange, which was the regular phase one, the plain white one. There was two released in the blue series. There was the captain, which is the red one, and there was the sergeant, which is the green one. So we got the sergeant, which we're out of stock on currently at Order 66 Toys. We got the captain in the blue line. And then we got the commander in this figure pack right here. Which figure pack is this? This is the evolution pack. So it's got a phase one, a phase two, a stormtrooper, and a first order trooper. This was Amazon or Entertainment Earth, I don't remember. One of the two. I can't remember right now. Phase two. And then came with a plain white phase two clone trooper. The only way you can get these two troopers is in this four pack. Definitely well worth it, especially if you collect troopers. Is that the same body, fashion. just a different head? Probably. Well, it looks good regardless. It looks good. So Brandon, I like it. I had to, to collect it for me. So there you go. And then, of course, out of the other clones we still have available, we have Commander Wolf and Captain Rex. Commander Wolf being the newest clone released thus far. Came out earlier this year. It was a GameStop, That's Barnes a & Noble. Life, and I heard a rumor that he was supposed to be a Disney Store exclusive, but I have not seen him in a Disney Store or heard anybody find him in a Disney Store. Michael, there's, yet, so. there's no such thing as a number 13 orange. No such thing. No such thing. They skipped it and actually they ended the orange line so that they could start with the new box design. Which was? The blue. Blue. And the reason they did that. Was because of Chewie. And that's what he's saying. He's looking for number 13 Chewie. No such thing. So if you look, you see how, how that's kind of blocked off at the top and this is open. They did that for Chewie and Vader. That's why we didn't get a Vader in the orange line as well. And, you know, in hindsight, it wouldn't have worked for IG-88 or Bosk either because those are also tall characters, and they wouldn't have... He's saying he's seen four. Work. No. What else do we got? That's it for the Know Your Toy video. I guess we'll go show them Django. Django. I'd be interested in seeing pictures of that, Michael. There's the man himself. The one who started it all. Django. 
Oh, hi, Commander Cody. Oh, hey, how's it going? How you doing? Yeah, I'm chilling. Chilling? Yeah. We had a Commander Cody. A, did they make a figure of you? <laughs> yeah, they, they did. did. It was in the blue line, right? Oh. How muffled does that sound? It wasn't, it wasn't good. It's pretty muffled. It sounded muffled to me, too. Oh, uh, so much, so yeah, much light. Cameron Justice came in and bought my last Cody the other day. Well, he's the one that said, don't forget about Green and Cody. We're at a green. Yeah, we're at a green. Cameron nabbed my last Cody, so. Don't forget about Green and Cody. What a silly guy. Oh, Cameron. Oh, hi, Lex. Oh, hi, guys. What are you doing here? Welcome. Just, you know, being me. Cool. Haunting the place. Yeah. Like an apparition. So much spook. So much spook. And then, of course, you know, knowing your toy, some of us big kids like buckets. And here at Order 66 Toys, a friend of ours was kind enough to sell us some awesome buckets made by Iron Studios, an LFL licensed company out in Brazil, and we have one Commander Cody left. Boy, do I wish they fit my head. This one doesn't sit on very well. Like, yeah, my head doesn't reach the top of it. It just sit like, the bottom just sits on my shoulders. How you doing? And that's it. How are you? Like, I'm a clone with no neck. Yeah. <laughs> Like my the head of, the top of my head doesn't even touch this. <laughs> so you got a ball joint, is what you're saying. <laughs> I'm saying, I like I know like this makes me feel like I don't have a neck. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I have we no got anything turning. else for these wonderful people? Um, no, just some upcoming announcements. So be sure to tune in at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for a modern edition of the live sale here at Order 666. And there will be some Black Series stuff in there. There's going to be some Black Series available. There's going to be some other really cool goodies goodies available. Um, Update on those who are participating in T-Shirt Club. We are so sorry. It is still... um, What's the word I'm looking for? The shirts are printed. Postponed. The Um, shirts are printed. We need them to be delivered now. We're just waiting on them to come out. So... uh, just be, we appreciate you and your patience. Don't worry, you're still getting your shirt, and I'm gonna let you know as soon as they're available. I will be sending the email. In fact, the email is ready to go, and has been ready to go for almost half a month now. It's just, things get backed up on, on their end. Sometimes it happens. A lot of people at this time of year order shirts, apparently. Um, but don't worry, you're still gonna get them, still gonna come. Thank you, Michael. The October shirt's going to be awesome. So if you're not signed up for T-Shirt Club, make sure you sign up for T-Shirt Club because it's super awesome. This isn't one of them, but you get originally designed T-shirts in your size every single time. Even if you're on the other side of the world, we'll still make sure you get a shirt if you want to sign up. It's super easy. Just message us here on Facebook or call 216-ORDER-66 to figure out how to sign up. Like I said, it's really simple and easy. 216-673-3766. I hope you heard it because I didn't catch it and I'm not going to repeat it. 216-673-3766. Cool. What were the last two numbers again? Yeah. <laughs> <I'm not so. laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, so sign up for T-Shirt Club. It's awesome. It's cool. At the end of the month, we're not having part swap this month. We're skipping it to recuperate. Some of our parts have started to get a little bit low. We need to get some more. So we're going to... We need to get better organized. So we're going to let some, some more parts as they come in collections, recuperate part swap a bit. We also have some other events going on at the end of the month. At, for example, our awesome free art show. If you're an artist who's watching and you're interested in on setting up, it's free to set up. You can make some money, sell your stuff. You get to sell your stuff. You're responsible for keeping up with any sales you do. We're not going to do any from the store for you. you have, but we're also not going to ask you for any money either. But we have lots and lots of space for artists to set up with some booths in here. And it's going to be awesome. And like I said, it's free. So there you go. Art show is going to be coming up on the 27th. That's a Saturday. The bucket is for sale, guys. The bucket is for sale. If you're interested, message us. Message us. Call us. Um, gosh, what else is coming up? There's a few other things coming up. Nerd part sorting night. What is that? Not a bad idea. That would be cool. That would be cool. Oh. Um, X-Wing night is tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time here at Order 66 Toys. Every three months, Papa. If you're interested in playing X-Wing or you're interested in learning, come in and play for free with a bunch of cool friends. Um, a bunch of people who just want to sit and play some games. It's Including really easy. myself and Bobby. Including us. We also play. 
We also. Alex is too cool for us. Alex is too cool. He makes fun of us a lot, calls us nerds. Once he shoved my head into a toilet and, and, broke, it. and broke my X-Wing in front of me. It was hey, like, uh, my mom didn't give me milk money that day, so I had to beat up on somebody for it. <laughs> had to beat up on somebody. I guess it was me. Uh, so I guess that's about it. Make sure you sign up for all those things. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Robbie Barberson on Facebook. Trip to Conus on Twitter and Instagram. Or follow us and not or and follow us order 66 toys on Facebook Instagram and Twitter if you haven't liked us there follow us like and subscribe on our YouTube channel order 66 toys for awesome and other content as well I think that's about it for today guys thank you so much for tuning in to this awesome installment of know your toy clone trooper edition we'll see you later we'll see you another time and may the force be with all of you love you guys may Peace. the Schwartz be with you what was that may the Schwartz be with you the Schwartz We'll see you on Friday, guys, if not before. Peace.